Hello everybody, this is CB Smallwood and you're watching 100 Days of Making Comics where for 30 minutes a day, each and every single day or close to it, I'll be writing, drawing, inking, coloring, lettering. I'll be doing something to further my goals to becoming a comic book artist, beefing up my portfolio, and hopefully getting my own original comic done. Or close to done, at least the pencils anyway. And that's within a 100 day um, time frame. So, uh, let's talk about last episode and what we're doing uh, this episode. First of all, I want to show you the colors. I've been uh, working on my digital colors. I think it's necessary to do in my case because um, on average, colorists want about $35 uh, a page to color a comic. About $30, $35, sometimes a little bit lower. It depends. Um... So what I'm doing is uh, I'm cutting out the middleman if I can help it, and I may end up coloring my comic myself. But then again, it just depends, you know. I really don't know. I apologize again about the uh, quality of this film because I'm not doing a, um, you know, screen capture type thing video. So I'm just going to do this, you know, video by phone because it's just easier for me, simpler in the editing process. So uh, here's the original Sam Keith pencils and inks. Uh, and then here's uh, my colors over top of that. If you notice, I did the borders um, kind of sloppy because um, I think it kind of fits more in, in tune with Sam Keith's um, storytelling style that he's got going on. And I don't mean that disrespectful by saying sloppy, but it, it, it makes it more artsy, I think, you know, kind of fun. Uh, leaving them borders straight black uh, by filling them in straight black uh, looked nice too, but I figured I would do that. Um, uh, just playing around, having fun. So there you go. There's the colors on that. Now let's move on to something different. Um, I got some uh, Tom Petty playing in the background, you know. I find, I love Tom Petty. I love really laid back music, you know, I love metal, rock, just 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 anything that's got attitude, sincerity, a groove, a nice upbeat, it's catchy. It has to meet that kind of criteria and sincere. It has to be sincere. Um Okay, what am I doing next? Well, I made a couple of purchases the other day. Um one of them was this mouse. I really needed a mouse for my digital colors. And also, you know, for my laptop, uh, I, just for the sake of convenience, um, it's uh, Logitech, it's a uh, wireless, and um, let me turn my light around here. And um, when you remove this battery pack, uh, this this whatever this tab, uh, it came with a battery in it, which is really cool. Uh, also. It came on the inside, it had a slot for a, um, uh, a USB um, thingamajigger. And I've got that hooked into my uh, laptop now and so my wireless mouse now works. I just got it turned off. Um, I only really need it for certain projects so I want to save the battery. Um, the other thing purchase that I made, which was kind of a waste of money really, is I bought a stylus pen. and. It's both a pen, an actual pen that writes, and here's the functioning end for laptops and tablets and stuff like that. Uh, I tried using this on the laptop. It does work um, because the laptop has this uh, area right here. Uh, the only problem is there is a little bit of a lack of control with it compared to the mouse, um, but I think it's something I can master over time, but I don't know if I really want to spend the time mastering that when I got a lot of other things that I need to do, so... Uh, but I have it if I want it, if I want to play with it. Um, last but not least, you know, I want to talk about something that I'm, that I'm wanting to do uh, because I'm always biting off more than I can chew. And I don't really care because that's just how I roll. Um, bam. Okay, so here's the thing that I want to do, folks, that I want to put out to you. Uh, to uh, all my YouTube, VidMe, Minds, and Facebook friends, and everybody in between and, and, and out into the outer regions of, 
a social media space. This is the proposal I have. There you go. Let me sketch you. You know, um, I'm wanting to improve my skills and, you know, not just my, my art skills in general uh, because uh, I need to draw things that are more unfamiliar uh, to me and uh, that, that are uncomfortable to me because that's how you grow as an artist, you know, by doing things that you don't uh, normally do. And so I'm going to start keeping a sketchbook and being more serious about it. I've had sketchbooks in the past, but I never really filled them up until the last couple of years. Um, and it takes about six months to a year now to fill up sketchbooks. But a lot of my sketchbooks uh, suck. So I want to change that. And my mindset behind my sketchbooks has changed. So what I want to do is I want to challenge myself by drawing stuff that other people's drawn and, and drawing stuff from observation so that I can stretch and, and increase my, my artistic vocabulary. So here's the thing I want to put out to all of you. Let me sketch you, okay? Send me um, a picture of yourself or, you know, of whoever else. You know, it doesn't matter. Just send me a picture and leave it down in the comments down below. And what I will do is uh, I will draw it, okay? And then I'll post it on uh, YouTube, Bid Me, and wherever else. And... I will uh, try to send you a link to the uh, JPEG, and I'll give you the JPEG. Okay, does that sound cool? Uh, I don't expect a lot of response from this, but hey, it's 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 a free sketch of yourself, and it may look crappy, it may look good. You know, it depends on my ability overall. <laughs> so, let me sketch you, okay? So again, leave it, uh, leave a comment down below in the comment section, um, and and a link to the picture that you want sketched of yourself, or, or maybe it might be a friend or a loved one, you know, and it's just something fun. And uh, I'll do it. Okay, now let's get to the sketches that I have done. Okay. Uh. All right. So I bought a uh, sketchbook. A couple months ago but I was too afraid to um, draw in it because it looks so nice look at it look how pimping that is look at the spine on this thing I mean this is hardcover <laughs> smells nice now the paper quality is is decent uh, but it does leave a little to be desired in, in terms of like how much it absorbs um, you know, inks and, and, and pencils and colors and stuff like that. Uh, even though I haven't inked in this yet or colored it, I can tell that it's not going to absor uh, absorb very well. It's going to bleed through because the pencils, um, oddly enough, are, <laughs> for some weird reason, wanting to bleed through the page. Um, now, I saw an artist who is doing uh, like a sketching thing online. Um, on uh, DeviantArt, and I also re saw them on Facebook do this, and they take, this is an actual person. Uh, they did more of an anime take, and mine's a little bit more in between anime and, and, and comic booky. I guess. I don't know. I'll, I'll leave that up to you to decide. So this is my take. And um, again, same thing here. Can't really tell. Okay. And here's Bubblegum Girl. And uh, here's the last one I did. Hopefully the light doesn't blind it out where you can't see nothing. So yeah. Um, trying to work on my women's, uh, my whammons, trying to get my whammons down, trying to get, you know, my artistic style down and try a couple of things that make me uncomfortable artistically so I can improve. You know, you don't improve as an artist, as an individual, if you don't 
do things that are out of your comfort zone, stuff that you don't normally do. Uh, you got you got to get out there and and do stuff that you don't normally do. And that's that's how you grow. That's how you get better. And that's what I want to do. Now, some of you might say, "Hey, uh, between coloring stuff, Brian, and trying to do these sketches for some of us, and 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 um, trying to draw your comic, and and all this other stuff that you're wanting to do, how are you going to find time for all that?" Ah, I will. You know, that's that's just how I am. Um. Because I have 100 days to try to get all the pencils done for my comic. Um, will I accomplish that? I don't know. Probably not. Well, actually, I have less than 100 days now. I got around anywhere. Uh, I got about 40, 40 ish days left. Um, but, you know, if I don't get my comic penciled within that um, 40 ish uh, days, time limit i'm not going to beat myself up because you know I've, I've got a lot done here in a little bit and my whole goal of doing the 100 days of making comics is to beef up my portfolio get better as an artist become you know be on the path to becoming a comic book artist and hopefully get a comic book done in the process and if i can get half of that stuff done i'll be flying because i'll be well on my way to becoming a comic book artist you know because you got to get in the habit of drawing and so far, this, this challenge series has been great for me and to getting into the habit of doing things. So I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, I just want to finish by saying uh, uh, thank you, everybody, that's you know taking the time to watch my videos anonymous, anonymously and you don't comment or like or upvote or follow or any of that stuff. That's okay. I really appreciate all the anonymous uh, views that I get, you know, and... So I, I think it's for that. You know, you just could be watching somebody else's videos. Uh, last but not least, but just as important, is if you like this video or any, uh, any of my other videos, please remember to smash that uh, like button, that upvote button. And, you know, don't forget to uh, follow and subscribe if you want to keep up to date to all the latest videos that I got coming out with. And I got a couple other projects down the pack. Uh, you'll see them when I, whenever I get around to uploading them. But anyway, I just want to send much love to your all's way. This is CB Smallwood, and you've been watching a very hyper episode of 100 Days of Making Comics, and I will catch you in the next video.